Oh my God. The Milwaukee Bucks destroyed, okay, destroy the Chicago Bulls. They'll be advancing to the next round and they'll be facing what it looks like is the Boston Celtics. All right, and that's the most interesting part about all of this little interesting thing. I want to hear your thoughts down below. Who's going to win, the Boston Celtics or the Milwaukee Bucks? I'll do my playoff predictions very next, and I want to hear your thoughts down below. This is going to be insane. But tonight, look, this Milwaukee Bucks team has to be scary because they just beat, you know, the Chicago Bulls without Chris Middleton. Yes, I know, the Boston Celtics are probably the scariest Eastern Conference team right now, the best defensive team, but... Man, oh man, I want to hear your thoughts down below, guys. What do you guys think of this game? Are you guys on the same wave as me? I think the Boston Celtics versus Milwaukee Bucks might be the best series in the playoffs. Guys, I will be releasing tonight my playoff predictions on who will win Bucks versus Celtics. But tonight, when you look at this game, Giannis Antetokounmpo is a beast. Bobby Portis, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Brooke Lopez, they just looked at what the Cleveland Cavaliers did with Jared Allen, Lowry Marketing, and Evan Mobley and was like, Okay, Chris Middleton's out, so we'll throw Bobby at, you know, small forward, and then we'll have Brooke at center, and we'll have Giannis at power forward. All right, okay, and we'll just tell Bobby Portis, even though he's grabbing like 15 rebounds, just to shoot like seven three-pointers a night, okay? And then Drew Holiday will run the show, and Wes Matthews, who's showing he's still an incredible defender, still very capable. Then you have Javon Carter, who's the West Virginia Mountaineer defensive god. Grayson Allen, who's just shooting like what feels like 10 three-pointers a night and hitting them. Pat Connington, who, you know, Dante DiVincenzo, you thought was going to be a huge loss for them. But look, Pat Connington out here just showing, hey, I was better than Dante. Always have been better, better fit for this team. Okay, and Grayson Allen just showing that he's the premier 3 and D guy. He's going to be the Duke guy who places JJ Redick and everybody's going to be like, where did this man come from? And it's just, Grayson Allen's just a beast. And I really do think this was incredible. What a game by, you know, the Milwaukee. But what a series, okay? They just 4 won them, embarrassed them in my opinion. And it was due to the fact because Mike Budenholzer is a better coach than people give him credit for. Everyone just acts like he's not a good coach. And he's actually one of the better coaches in the league, okay? And I think it's it's kind of disrespectful on a lot of people's part in the in the NBA, in my opinion. But this is where I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. What you guys, are you guys on the same page as me or is this just me who thinks this? Because I really do believe this is a team that is probably going to be going back. You know, if they beat the Boston Celtics, they're going back to the NBA Finals, without a doubt. Without a doubt, they'll be back in the NBA Finals. That's how good they are. So that's basically a video from me, guys. I hope you guys do have a great day. Don't ask the best. Clippies. Ooh.